Hi everybody, um, I wanted to show you this today. I recently acquired this object, which is a lithography stone. Now lithography is an art form which is fascinating in its own right, um, but not one that I'm really ready to pursue. The reason I purchased this stone is to use it as a pairing stone for leather pairing. In his book on bookbinding, Arthur Johnson writes that a large lithographic stone is the best base for pairing. So there you have it. As the surface I was working on before was just a, a piece of marble, which is a, it's a good surface, but it's a little bit hard on my tools, whereas the, the lithographic limestone is a little bit softer. And obviously it's larger. This is quite small to work on. So what I'm going to be doing today is resurfacing this, just one side. I'll choose the side that um, isn't chipped. And uh, before I do that, I'll, I'll zoom in and I'll show you these checks and prints that are already imprinted on the stone and were used in the 1920s. turn it over here so we can see there's the other side it is heavy this is I think the more interesting side for the prints if anyone knows why these were printed in not in reverse because my understanding is that Lithography prints would be printed in reverse, and then you print off of them, and then the print is facing the right way. These ones are all facing the right way, so I'm not certain how they would have been used. And this side, it's got a pretty big chip in it here, which for me, I want to have as, as large and smooth a surface as possible. And this, I think, is the more interesting side with, the, with these checks on it. So that's going to be the downside. So this will be my my working surface. The chips are a little bit smaller. This edge is all really good. And it, this serial number is facing up, so that's kind of cool that way. The way I'm going to resurface this is using this, which is, this is a truing stone for sharpening stones. Uh, it's quite coarse and is meant to flatten Japanese water stones for sharpening tools. It's the closest thing that I have to the grinding stones that actual lithography printing uses to remove the designs on these these stones and flatten them out. So this can be a wet endeavor. I'm gonna use this tray to keep my bench reasonably clean. I'll get some water and we'll start grinding that off. Really, rather astonished at how durable these these impressions are on the stone. kind of a ghostly negative impression of the type. So I brought up a couple of my Japanese water stones. This one's an 800 grit. I'll start with that one first. 
and then I'll finish with a thousand grit, which should be more than adequate for just a pairing surface. Probably overkill, but I'm doing it now, so I might as well do it well. I'm just trying to remove the deeper scratches that were left by this truing stone. Should do it. Just get it wiped off and dry here, tidy up, and we'll take a look at the final result. Nice, reasonably smooth, clean paring stone for paring leather. There's a few deeper scratches left in it, but we'll see how, uh, see how it performs. Certainly not good enough for lithography work, but I think for pairing leather it should be adequate. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate all of your likes and comments, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.